Okay, this is an episode of Reality Is, and I'm going to talk about something that really hits a nerve with me. Adults is one thing. When you start attacking kids, it's a whole different thing. So this thing about Chicago, Jackie Robinson, West Little League stripped of their title uh, for being state championship championships of the United States is ridiculous. And for the ignorant adult who felt the need to attack little black kids to think that you're going to make yourself look good is ridiculous. Again, you are stupid and ignorant. First of all, to go that far, what is wrong with this country? What is wrong with the cities, the states, and the United States as a whole when we constantly feel the need to attack one set of racial group that you constantly pinpoint to target? Then you want to say, don't make it racial related, but every move that's being made clearly is racial related. You name me one team that does not have somebody that's on that, that's outside of the area. Name me one. You name me one thing in this country, period, that's done legally from your top of your officials down to the lower level. We have crookedness all across the board. Some we label as outright thieves, stealing, and crooks, and some of y'all crooks, I dress them with suit and ties, dress and skirts, and wear titles of aldermen, congressmen, senators, mayors, and governors. Yeah, you wear those titles, presidents and CEOs. So how dare you take something from these little kids that they work hard for? They work hard for that title. They did not slip up or trip into over the years it took practice hard practice dedication and the coaches and the support of their parents behind them to get them where they are and then you come along and whoever was the ignorant people who allowed it you just as much as fault as anybody else who initiated this if it was a white little league team would you do that would you have with that depth to strip them of that title do you know what that can do to those kids' self-esteem and their confidence? It's sad. And it's sad that we allow adults in our country to stoop to these levels that we can't recognize or acknowledge wrongdoing. And for some group of individuals that's not of our color, that sat behind closed doors, and you allow this to happen, it's not a good look for you. Now, what you're saying is the black folks ain't worthy of winning or, 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 or capable of keeping nothing. What do you say? Black people should not win the Little League. Is that what you're saying? These are children. You're getting away with the police killing the black men and the black boys. So that's not enough. You want to continue the racial divide? And, and you want to get a pat on the back for what you do? What kind of message do this send? So what you're telling the kids that they shouldn't strive to be whatever they can they want it to be. You want to kill their dreams and their hopes? That's what you're doing? You tell them they're not capable of being a senator or a congressman or alderman or a governor or even president. Negroes don't matter. Is that what you're saying? In the month of Black History Month. So this is the legacy you want to stamp on our, our people? This is what you're trying to do? Now here's my problem. I hope all you activists, all you concerned parents that's sitting behind doors with your lips parted and making your comments, you all should get step up and step forward. Because if it's not your child on that league, it could have been your child on that team. Enough is enough and we need to stop it. Racial discrimination is at an all time high. At least... Back in, you knew what was going on in the slavery days. Now you cover it, uh, it up with a pretty smile and a hateful heart. And that is ridiculous. And it should be ceased because I'm sick of it. You cut yourself, you bleed red. You cut me, guess what I bleed? I bleed red blood. You're no better than what I am. Period. You're not. And, and then you want to sit here and discriminate our race? Then keep your ass out the tanning spots trying to get our color. Bottom line, stop stealing our styles when they come in and you want to adapt them to yours. 
That's unfair. Since you don't like us that much and you don't want us to get ahead, then stop trying to be a copycat and create your own pattern and path. This is crazy. Now, when you talk about kids, that hits a nerve with me. It really do. And what you all have done and allowed it to do is ridiculous. And somebody should institute they stuff back because that's unfair to strip them. Let them boys go through all the acknowledgement, all the recognition of last year. And then this year in 2015, you come back with an upper cup and you strip them of their title. That's some BS at its finest. And all of y'all who played the part, somebody needs to slap the hell out of stand y'all up and down the line and slap the hell out of all of y'all. Point blank, period. It's stupid as hell.